Welcome to Bar India News R. The reason behind Google to acquire Mandiant. Tech is the most important enabler of remote work. Cloud services are increasingly ubiquitous. An attack on a service can impact businesses globally. Google's acquisition in a, is a sign of how important cybersecurity is today. There were millions of new positions that have been created and filled since February 2020, meaning that IT departments will be inundated with thousands of new devices coming onto their networks for the first time. Many employees will have onboarded remotely, others will have allowed family members to use their devices, and more will have undoubtedly accessed vulnerable public networks. As a result, the risk of overprivileged devices accessing corporate resources will be huge in, in the coming weeks. If phones and laptops are brought into the office without a thorough security check, any malware on them could erupt into the entire network. It may also be the first time that many organizations that have had the chance to properly manage and audit devices of those who have left employment during the past year. There is a need for a zero-trust security framework clearly offers the most efficient and cost-effective way to secure the everywhere workplace. Mandiant provides a SaaS security platform called Mandiant Advantage. Because it is SaaS, it can be deployed rapidly as well as complement existing security protocols and processes and according to Gartner, hybrid workplaces are here to stay and remote workers will make up 32% of all employees worldwide by 2024. Businesses face minor challenges shifting to the hybrid landscape. Cybersecurity fundamentals have become even more important due to constant attacks via ransomware, malware and a host of other threat vectors, hence creating a global security imperative. The cloud represents a new way to change the security paradigm by helping organizations address and protect themselves against entire classes of cyber threats while also rapidly accelerating digital transformation. Google paid $5.4 billion in a cash deal to buy cybersecurity firm Mandiant, valuing Mandiant at $23 per share. Its Google Cloud unit, which is buying Mandiant, is a distant number three to Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Services. Still, Google is Google, one of the most powerful tech firms in the world. The acquisition of Mandiant will complement Google Cloud's existing strengths in security. Google Cloud offers customers a robust set of services including pioneering capabilities such as Beyond Corp Enterprise for Zero Trust and Virus Total for malicious content and software vulnerabilities. With the addition of Mandiant, Google Cloud will enhance these offerings to deliver an end-to-end -end security operations suite with even greater capabilities to support customers across their cloud and on-premise environments. With the acquisition of Mandiant to Google Cloud with further enhance the security operations suite and advisory services and help customers address their most important security challenges. Let's look into today's headlines in Bar India. Spotify and Discord back after outages linked to Google Cloud. Spotify and Discord globally got affected after outages linked to Google Cloud disconnected both platforms. The outages were fixed by Google Cloud teams after a couple of hours. Both the platforms came back online after a short while. Spotify didn't go into detail, but a case study posted by Google Cloud confirms they are also a customer and that may explain the sudden issues for both services. Tata Coin Sustainability and Investment Risk Tata Coin is a community-driven cryptocurrency listed on the Binance Smart Chain. It recently made headlines with a price rally of more than 1200%, surging from $0.008 to $0.24. Tata Coin is currently trading at $0.09 with a diluted market capitalization of $718,300. No single entity or individual controls the cryptocurrency, meaning that Tata Coin is completely decentralized. Tata Coin aims to lower the transaction fees and make international payments faster and cheaper. Before investing in the Tata Coin, one should study its growth potential and understand all the other factors that could affect its future direction. Paytm shares hit all-time low over 60%. Shares of Fintech major Paytm plunged over 3% to hit an all-time low of Rs 728.50. The market cap of the company slipped below Rs 50,000 crore on the BSE. Shares of Paytm's parent 197 communications have declined 5.3% in three trading sessions from its previous closing low of Rs 1,339.60. Currently, the stock is trading 63% lower from its all-time high of Rs 1,961.05. According to a recent report, Paytm's revenue is likely to grow at a more than 35% CAGR over FY22 to FY24E and more than 25% over FY24 to FY26E, which is well above the industry average. The IPO of Paytm was subscribed 1.89 times. Google says Russian-Belarusian hackers target Ukraine in phishing. 
Google's Threat Analysis Group, which focuses on disrupting computer hackers and issuing warnings about them to users, said that over the past two weeks, Russian hacking unit Transibia, also known as APD28, has been sending phishing emails to Ukrainian media company UKRNet. Ghostwriter or UNC1151, which Google described as a Belarusian threat actor, has been trying to steal account French credentials through phishing attempts on Polish and Ukrainian government and military organizations. Phishing messages aim to steal account login information from users so that hackers can breach a target's computers and online accounts. Scalar acquires applied routes for $50 million. Bengaluru based EdTech startup Scalar has acquired an online learning platform Applied Roots for $50 million. As a part of the acquisition, all the six co founders of Applied Roots will join Scalar and lead varied projects, and a majority of Applied Roots will work with the Scalar DS and ML business vertical. Applied Roots is a Hyderabad based learning platform that offers diploma courses in artificial intelligence, machine learning, applied gate course, coding track, and government test preparation, among others. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.